And let's bring in ABC's Zoe Reen Shaw in Washington, along with senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky and ABC News contributor and former FBI agent Brad Garrett for more on this. Brad, how concerning are these threats to law enforcement? I think they're very concerning. I mean, think about this. You have uh, elected officials making statements like the FBI may have planted the classified information at President Trump's home. You've got a number of people, who knows the number, I think it's fairly large, who are already angry. This sort of adds on top of it, disinformation, uh, trying to delegitimize the government, etc. It's It's a big, big problem. Uh, and because it's going to be lone actors, it could be really difficult to stop. Now, Aaron, of the material that the FBI sees from Mar-a-Lago, is there anything in particular that stands out to you? Well, I think some of it is clearly related to national defense. And our friends at the Washington Post had said some of it is related to nuclear secrets. And under the Espionage Act, it would be a crime just to move it, never mind whether it's classified or, or not. Even removing it from the White House and bringing it down to Florida could, could be a violation or a crime. So that's what's probably most concerning. The material is so sensitive, as you heard Pierre talk about, it's supposed to be viewed only in a secure location. So when the FBI is reviewing all this security camera footage that they had subpoenaed from the former president's estate and they saw all of the different people who may have had access to the material because of how it was stored or where it was stored. That's in part what seems to have raised alarms here. Now, Zareen, Republicans in Washington were quick to come to Trump's defense after the search. How are they reacting to these new details in the warrant now that it's released? Yeah, very quick to come to his defense, Diane. We've seen this play out before. We know Repub we know what happens when Republicans don't fall in line with Donald Trump. You have Rep. Elise Stefanik, who said the FBI raid was a complete abuse and overreach. And then you have this tweet from Rand Paul. Let's see if we can pull it up. He said the Espionage Act was abused from the beginning to jail dissenters of World War One. And then he says it's long past time to repeal this. Uh, we, what he says is, is an egregious affront to the First Amendment. Those are the types of statements that we are seeing from Republicans. I mean, you, you have Marco Rubio, who's um, defending Trump, you know, even Republicans who previously spoke out harshly against the former president questioning that raid. On the other hand, you have high-level House d uh, Democrats calling on the, on the director of national intelligence to investigate what happened, what those uh, agents found. You have uh, Rep. Adam Schiff and Carolyn Maloney. They are asking for an immediate review and a damage assessment um, of, those, of those classified docs. Now, Brad, how are documents classified at this level typically stored? And is it possible for this to have been just a mistake or oversight of some kind? It's absolutely not a mistake. Now, the problem, of course, is that when hard copies of highly classified documents go to the president, uh, how he controls them within the White House or perhaps the Oval Office, I'm sure there is a protocol to do that. However, did he follow it? Who knows? But the idea that they were tossed into boxes, presumably, and moved to Mar-a-Lago, I mean, it's just, it, it, it's beyond comprehension. To your point, they have to be stored in a facility that's considered that level of classification. In other words, if it's highly classified, there's going to be extra layers of security around it. And it's going to be for need to know only. Now, Aaron, authorities have surveillance footage, and they might even be checking for fingerprints to see who might have viewed these documents. What potential consequences could there be if it's found that unauthorized people had access to them? Well, that's the, the, the whole point of classifying material, isn't it, Diane? You want to keep it out of the hands or, or keep it from being seen by America's adversaries. So the chain of custody is important here and also determining whether any of the material that was taken from Washington down to Florida and the former president's house was in any way compromised. That's a job for the intelligence community to determine, even as the FBI works to determine whether whoever removed the material in the first place needs to be charged with a crime. And there's possible violations of the Espionage Act, but also obstruction of justice. All right, Aaron, Zoreen, Brad, thank you all. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.